No. Hi everyone and welcome. I am uh Jordan Lad 1986 aka the crappy gamer. Um this is going to be a different video where I'm going to be showing how I make the props and assets for a game I'm working on. Well I'm deciding whether to do a game or an animated movie. It started off as a game in the designs but you know how things go. So I'm actually finding it easier to do animated movies. Oh, I ain't gonna do the animations or the texture and if you want to see any of those leave a comment below. This isn't a tutorial as I'm not an expert, I'm just playing around and learning as I go. Um, so first of all I'm going to just do general, as you can see I did a wardrobe blend there. Um, so I'll just do general to show you how I did it. Uh, just do that. Um, always like the front view. We're going to start off just by doing a little scaling, uh, bring it up like that and then bring it across a little bit. Um, uh, so what is Blender? Blender is actually free, it's um, 3D mesh if you want it to, uh, you can scan around see what you like and all that. You can do modeling, sculpting, UV editing, texture painting, shading, which is the same thing, but you texture with nodes. Animate, you can render those animations. Uh, you can do 2D um, drawing and grease pencil as well. It's got pretty much everything. Uh, let's go back to front view. Um, go to edit and I just want to select the face. I bring that in just so that I can uh what's it called i forget what they call it in there um but yeah bring it in make sure that it's not there that's gonna be the basics for the wall um extruding that's what it's called um because if you extrude without doing the i'll just show you what happens uh do that and then do E and if you notice you get all the flickery lines around the sides and all that so yeah it's good to just do a little bit of inversion not a lot just enough so that you can make a new wall and then bring that back and it uh, should be fine just make sure it's not coming out of the back wall and basically all you I did after that is I did a couple of shells uh, sorry no I didn't I just did a couple of loop cuts and I did them along here at first and then I just did 20 uh, 10 sorry 10 this way and then uh, did the other uh, control R and then you do that and go back up to 10 uh, just zoom well cam down you don't really need to zoom in uh, and it keeps going to the line so just select the face again just do this select for just make sure the legs are even as I said it's going to be basic it's not going to be like the uh, model of the century bring them down they look pretty good I know the lines are a little bit weird but they don't matter in the long run you're going to see them when the mesh is actually finished so it's not a big deal uh, then just do that grab a plane and just move it to where you want it back there we'll do uh, you can duplicate it, make a couple of shells it's not straight but as I said this isn't a tutorial and I'm not gonna be doing my best work it's just showing people who are on Facebook how I do the thing so I do wanna thank you all if you enjoy this let me know bring that down a little bit just to make sure uh, 
um, then I guess we could add a rail or something do shift A and bring a cylinder in uh, can rotate it Uh, that was the wrong one. There you go. Um, you might want to bring that out just a little bit, just so that you can scale it how you to the size you want. I mean, it's quite a big wardrobe, so I guess that will do. Uh, move it back in again. Put it in the middle-ish. Then move it in. And then all you do is stretch it a little bit again. What I do like about Blender is you can just scroll as far as you want and if you go off the screen it will just return itself, grab it and move that over so it's a bit more simple again. And then just do the same thing. You don't need to poke at but you actually I do believe we could actually make it a little bit smaller still there you go perfect move it down a little bit just so we've got the hanger room now go back to the front position uh, bring in a plane Um, don't want that. Oh, control Z. Just actually, no, it's what we wanted. And then we can just like rotate on the X490. And that's that. Uh, move that into place. Um, you want it back midway again. You also want it at the front of it for this reason. And I can't actually do this straight so I will actually go here and bring this in because hell it gets annoying otherwise just bring it over make sure it is touching the side there you go uh, then just scale it to the side you want oh and I did that wrong just uh, like that um, then you just want to just make sure that it goes about halfway across so do that looks like it will be about half bring it to the left a little bit perfected uh, duplicate that don't know if it's straight or not at this point in time uh, and I'll show you why. I'm gonna leave this door a little bit open. You can do it so it's animated. Um, as you can see, it's not perfectly halfway, so we'll just extend it a little bit more. Okay, about there we do. Uh, and then because I want one door slightly open. I will rotate it a little bit, oh, not that way. This one, it, oh, and it's not obeying me, so we'll go back to how it was, go back to the front, and then try again. And it's still not obeying. Weird. Okay, we'll just do this the old fashioned way. Grab the blue one. Think around a little bit. Don't want it wide open. We'll just bring it there, move it out a little bit, just so it's on its hinge. Uh, rotate it a bit more. Don't worry about the shelves for a minute, we will move them back. Okay. Oh. 
And that's the other thing about this is you do need to get all the faces if you're going to move something, or at least most of them. Oh, you could just go into object mode, but then obviously it's the whole thing. In Blender, if you don't separate it, then yeah, you do get everything relying on one thing. There you go. Perfect. Almost. Okay, just for the final part, just want to bring in a little round cube. There you go. Bring it out to the front. You know where it goes. Scale it to about that. Put it where you'd like it. Normally, I would actually cut it and stuff so it fit perfectly or put another cylinder there but as I said this isn't going to be perfect I'm just doing a demonstration just to show what blenders have for and how I make certain things um, from our game and for my movie if I end up animating it I want to thank you all for watching if you want to see me texture then uh, just leave me a message in the comments or whatever Thank you so much for watching, uh, let me know what you think, I will leave a um, link to Blender if you want it in the, in the description. Thank you again and see you on the other side.